Hello friends, today we are going to see the next lesson from book number 3 that is parts of plants. As we human being have different parts in our body, same way plants do have different parts. The plant is a living thing. It has different parts just like we have. So parts of the some parts of the plants grow on the ground and some parts grow below the ground so the plants has two main systems one is the root system and the shoot system root system is the part which grows under the soil now root system Roots are the part of plant that grows in the soil. Some roots are deeper than the other. Roots may be colorless or light brown in color. The two types of root system are tap root system and fibrous root system. Depending upon the life of the plant tree, the Plants develop their roots. Now, plants that come under the tap root system have many roots with the main thin branch at the side. The thick main root is called tap root and the thinner branches are called lateral roots. Peas, beans, rose have tap root system. Now big trees like people, mango and neem to have tap roots. What is the use of this tap roots? Tap roots hold the tree firmly which protect it from heavy winds and secondly it provides the nutrients from the soil. The roots go in the search of food for the plant. Tap roots, the plants having tap roots survive for long time. Now second is fibrous root. Plants that come under the fibrous root system have group of thin and small roots at the base of the stem. Fibrous root do not enter deep into the ground like the main roots. They branch out in various directions. For example, wheat, rice, millet and maize have a fibrous root system. Also some herbs to have fibrous root systems. <laughs> now, uh, just one example. We can easily pull the wheat plant with our hands because it has fibrous roots. In other hand, we cannot pull the mango tree with our hand because it has tap root system. General functions of roots. What is the function or what is the use of roots? Root fix plant to the soil firmly so the plant cannot be pulled out or blow away by the wind or storm easily. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil which are essential for plants growth. Now what are the specifications or functions of the roots? There are some roots which are used for us. Some plants have roots that perform specialized function like tuberous roots. The roots of some plants like sweet potato, tapoika, yam, carrot, bitterroot, turnip, these roots store extra food in them. Hence they become swollen. We use these roots as our food because these 
roots carry or these roots store carbohydrates and starch in them which is useful for us the next is breathing roots in marshy areas marshy area means like we call it as daldal because of heavy rain and continuous water staying on a surface the area becomes marshy where the plants cannot breathe easily as they do not get enough air so mangrove trees grow in such areas they develop spongy roots called as breathing roots these roots grow above the water to absorb air helping the plant to breathe these roots also hold the tree in place some part of the roots hold the tree while some parts they grow above the water to absorb the air from the atmosphere next is aerial roots some trees like banyan live for many years this tree develop aerial roots or prop roots these roots grow from the branches and provide support to the tree as the tree grows and it spreads its branches after few years the branches start developing a thread like structure which comes down the uh, comes down to the earth as the string like structure meets the ground it acts like a root for the plant the aerial roots are not covered with soil they fix themselves in the ground and become thick like truck trunks over the years with so many aerial roots the tree become bigger and stronger the main purpose of these roots is to supply the food for the tree as the tree start growing bigger and bigger it needs more more food to de- develop its branches so these aerial roots later on convert into roots buttress root in rainforest tropical trees have buttress roots because they grow on the soil of poor quality it means there are some trees which grows on the poor quality soil poor quality soil means they don't get enough nutrients for the growth so in such a condition a part of the root is grown on the surface of the ground in all the directions this helps the plant tree to absorb the nutrients and also to hold the tree firmly you can see the root of the tree is appearing on the surface of the area next is propagative roots these root helps plants to produce more of their own kind some plants produce buds around roots that grow close to the ground and from those buds succus or aerial stem with rootless develop these new plants can be separated from the parent plant and made to grow independently now for example as we know that we use seeds for the new germination of the plant but there are some plants which can be grown from roots which are called as propagative roots which of the trees are 
their cherry tree and strawberry plant have propagative roots